I am Patrick Pistolesi, the master mixologist of Neo Cocktails and the founder of Drink Kong. Here we are. Here is all my experience I've gained throughout the years. The passion for my job, my continuous endeavor to reach perfection, be innovative, and be original. I like giving the personal touch to every cocktail I craft with my hands and with my imagination. Expertise, research, innovation, all of this at your home, thanks to Neo Cocktails. Cocktail by cocktail, story by story. Welcome to the Cocktail Revolution. TV or not TV, vodka. Who doesn't know vodka? Who hasn't loved vodka in time to time? Vodka is one of those distilled liquors that we all love. Comes from Russia and reminds me always about Cold War. When I think of Cold War, I always think about New York, oh, spy stories, Everything in between Europe, Russia, and New York. I love it. In time to time, vodka has been the drink of the jet setters. I would imagine having a vodka martini at the last floor of the Empire State Building with three olives and having fun with a lot of crazy madman. In this case, we're going towards the 80s, 90s. Well, this guy named Toby Cecchini invented one of the most iconic drinks that everybody wants to have once in a lifetime to name as glamorous as a taste, the Cosmopolitan. So Cosmopolitan, we all know how it's been, became famous. To me, that I'm a cocktail geek, I know it's became famous for a lot of reasons in a lot of bars, but for all you people that are out there, I know that it's been for the famous TV show we all know about. So let's get straight into the drink. The Cosmopolitan is one of those, uh, everybody has a story of a vodka drink. It is served in that iconic glass, has an iconic color. In this case, we made a little twist in it and we did our version of the Cosmopolitan for Neo. So basically we go straight away with our ice, always told you how important the ice is. This is a clear, clear ice. I know it's not easy to do it at home. I will tell you why, and I'll tell you why it's so important. Uh, we like to use big chunks of ice, first of all, because it has less dilution. It has only the faces you see. It's not a lot of ice together, so it will melt very, very slowly. And this is the first part. Second part, to get the crystal clear ice, it's not because it's the white that inside there's something that's not wrong, that's wrong with the water, or something wrong, I don't know, with the calcium in the water. A lot of people get very confused. The fact is that inside is the air. When you freeze the ice in a normal, let's say, ice tray, it just gets frozen from all the parts. So the air gets concentrated in the middle, and that's when you get what we call milky ice. It looks like it's got a little milk inside. Instead, that's just the air. When the ice got no air at all, it gets much more compact and much more cold and gets very difficult to melt, let's say like normal milky ice, as we said before. To make crystal clear ice, a lot of people say, boil the water, filter the water. The fact is, you only have to freeze it from one part, either underneath or even on top. There's a couple of tricks to do that. We have a machine that does that with big, big blocks, and then we saw them up and get our little block. But if you don't have this, you could easily take an insulate fridge, you know, those little portable fridges where you put your stuff inside, keep the lid open so that all the sides are insulated, 
fill it with water and that will freeze from the top to the bottom and that will give you a crystal clear ice 100%. Now that we said that, let's go straight in what is in the drink. We have some beautiful vodka, we have some orange curacao, in this case Cointreau. The French touch of this beautiful liquor has a little bit of that orangey zest that we love in our drink. We have some cranberry and then obviously we have our citrus mix which is made of citric acid, water, all biological and plus a touch of sugar just to out of balance the whole drink. Let's go to the to rip of it off. Fantastic. Perfect rip. And we go to serve. How iconic is this? Nice and pink. I would imagine drinking a Cosmopolitan, as I told you, at the top floor of the beautiful skyscraper in New York, tasting a little bit of an aperitivo, tasting the electricity of the night. The night is already going to start. Maybe thinking of what party I should go. Cosmopolitan always gives me this vibe. We go to, you could use a lemon wedge, a lime wedge. I like you to use an orange zest. I won't flame it because uh, the tradition wants to have it flamed. You can do whatever you want. We don't use flames here at Drink Kong, so we just go with a little bit of zest, pour it in. Mm. You can already feel the orange. Wow, it's not too sweet. It's just a fresh berries, orange, lemon. It's just a great drink. So refreshing. I love Cosmopolitans. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people associate it with a group of girls drinking it, but nothing like this in a summer day would make my day a great Cosmopolitan. So, wow. Cheers, guys. Hope to see you soon. Subscribe. If you like what you saw, follow us on our channels, follow us on YouTube, our social media, hit the subscribe button leave a comment and maybe a thumbs up. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you soon. Ciao.